Hello, welcome to your love reading. All right, let's take a look and see what the current vibe is at this time. What is the current vibe in love? And what is happening for the collective? Oh, that one didn't jump out. With the vibes, welcome. If you're new, welcome, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, I love you so much. All right, we have, why is that coming out? Why is someone all of a sudden becoming fragile? Like, someone here, is, it's like they don't like the taste of their medicine here. Oh, wow, look at this. This is interesting. This is different. Some of you are actually being protected from a narcissist, someone that's just all about ego and they could be fragile. Like I, I get this fragile vibe from this person, but it's like I'm fragile in terms of sensitivity. Like I could be really sensitive, which makes me act on things and say things out of just being triggered. So I feel like Archangel Michael here is protecting you. A lot of you are protected. You know, never sleep on the spiritual world, right? Someone here is really protected here. Um, you may ask yourself, like, wow, like, what's happening? It, it comes in as, like, a divine intervention. Spirit had to come in and throw some, like, ish, throw some, some blocks within a connection here. Some of you may ask yourself, like, why isn't it working? Why isn't this person coming towards me? Your angels are protecting you at this time from someone, something. Um, again, could be a friend, could be uh, whatever it is that you think that you want to jump in head first into. Spirit's like, no, we're not allowing you to get this opportunity to live this person's darkness. Like that's that's what's coming out here, okay? Protection from your spirit guide, okay? Protecting your your vibration, protecting you, in a sense here and i feel like for some of you you could feel it like you you've lived it like you saw this person's like resistance towards love here like their chaos to some degree and it's like maybe you had to stop yourself from responding to calls or you had to stop yourself from calling or reaching out or again you had to tell this person like i really need some space just to get a moment just to get a moment to really step back and just recharge it's the vibe that i'm getting here so i just want to come in today and say like if you're finding that there's been some sort of space or some sort of intervention argument blocking silent energy a pullback always ask the universe why right don't assume just ask the universe why like hey like what happened here right? Is this, is this something you want for me? Do you want this for me? And if you want this for me, give me a sign that this is for me. The universe is never going to let you down. God is never going to let you down, right? So that's what I'm getting here for some of you. I feel like someone here needs to hear that. Like you're being protected from someone that's just not ready. That's just not ready to have that interaction with your inner child. That's all fine and good and dandy. That's okay, right? Your inner child should be protected. So if you're finding that, wow, that, what a shift. What a shift. Look at this. Puzzled, confused, perplexed, right? And again, you know, there's many YouTube readers here that offer personal readings. I offer personal readings. If you're feeling confused about what's going on in your connection, right? You could always get a reading, right? My link's below. There's amazing readers on YouTube here, right? I offer a number of different services. Check out my description box below. And someone here is confused of what's taking place, right? Sometimes we're not able to see what's happening in the spiritual realm. That happens a lot. We can't see what's what's happening. We can't see or understand or translate the messages. But Spirit is saying, keep pushing through. Look at that arrow. Keep pushing forward. Move forward. Move forward. Move forward with your life. Focus on the present. All right? There's something here that doesn't need to be explained right now. It doesn't need to be explained right now here. There could be some sort of confusion here if you try to figure this out on your own here. So 
And it's so interesting because if you look at the bottom of this, right, we have other arrows going backwards. Okay, so it's like some of you are really trying to push through. You're trying to push through all of the confusion. Like, I, I feel like for some of you, it's like I've been sitting in this confused state for a while. I do not want to do that. It's not healthy for me here. Someone here is possibly connecting with um, someone in their past life here. All right, maybe this is your person. Still trying to obtain a lesson here, which is going to be very good for them. It's going to bring in growth, which is beautiful, which is why we've had this stagnant energy. Things have been frozen for a little bit, right? I haven't heard from you. You haven't been calling. Everything just went quiet after, like, just after such beautiful vibes. Things just went quiet. What happened? What's going on here? What could we expect? What don't we see coming here? For my viewer spirit is saying, push through all of this. Push through all of this. Push through the stagnancy here. Push through, please. Push through. Someone here could be still upset. This comes out all the time. Someone here could still be upset about this situation here. It's like I'm a bit disappointed as well. Maybe not upset, but disappointed. Envy. Some of you, you think this person's living this grand, amazing, exciting life, right? Like they're so excited. They're so happy. They're happy with their new person, their third party, their their friends, their karmics, whoever, right? And you sit back and you're just like, I'm just holding back. I'm just holding my tongue. I don't want to spit fire into this situation. But I will tell you that you're not wrapped up in this for a reason. You're not wrapped up in this vibration for a reason. You're not meeting the family for a reason. You're not part of the friend group for a reason. For a reason. Respect it. Healing. There you go. Spirit's like, yeah. Healing is your focus at this time. Healing is your focus. Self-care is your focus. Meditation is your focus. That is your focus. In the meantime, you're blocking out anything that's going to bring in any sort of stagnant vibration for you. Anything that's going to make you feel like you're not free. Anything that's making you feel like you're not living the best life that you've been gifted Okay, I feel like for some of you, it's okay to have nothing to say. It's all right. In the nothing to say, you're not going to lose anything. Okay, you're not losing. Someone here, it's like they want to say something or they want to hear something. Um, but I feel like at this time, it's just not the right time. All right, according to spirit. All right, from what I'm seeing here. But healing is big. Spirit really wants you to know that Whatever it is that you may think that may be going on behind closed doors is an assumption. Like, oh, I, I would like to be part of their life. I would like to be their person. I would like to travel with them. I would love to interact with them and things of that nature. But something about this energy is not part of your current chapter. And Spirit is saying it's just for your protection. It's just for your growth. It's for your good, your own good here. And I feel like as time goes on, you're going to start noticing exactly why you weren't part of this journey, right? And you just, as if like you didn't need to sign up for it. And I feel like it's very healing. So if you haven't spoken to someone, you haven't really been in a space of, getting the invites or having someone open up to you. I feel like there's a bigger reason behind things here. Okay. That's what I'm getting. Let's get some tarot here. Yeah. Some of you are just like, well, you know what? I feel good regardless. I'm feeling good regardless. I'm doing good regardless. I'm moving forward regardless. All right. In, and also I'm hearing like, don't don't hold on to the disappointment. Don't hold on to that. Because what you think 
you're actually what you think you want is not what you need like whoa okay let's get a little tarot here please oh yeah see someone here it's like they're putting on a show there's a de very deceptive energy here don't be deceptive to yourself, of course. This is not my viewers. But some of you are realizing that this person lives a very deceptive lifestyle. Yeah. They live a very deceptive lifestyle. They're a runner, essentially, here. And I feel like a lot of you, you're not being thrown into the mix for a number of reasons. For a number of reasons here. OK, there's a lot in the background that you don't see and it's OK. Right. There's a lot going on with your person, this person that you may be thinking about. There's a lot going on in their energy. And spirit just said, look, I looked out for you. I looked out for you because I don't want you to be part of this deception. I want you to focus on healing and I want you to focus on growth and abundance here. OK, so be very careful what you're competing for. And be very careful what you're asking to be part of. All right, I will say that. Someone here is still connecting with a karmic. Someone here is still around haters, maybe friends. Someone here has a lot to learn. And spirit's like, yeah, we're looking out for you. You don't need to be part of this. Hands down. Okay, that's my message for you for the day. I love you. Have a beautiful one. Like, share, subscribe. If you are interested, of course, in a personal reading, everything is below, low, low. I will talk to you soon. Have a good one.